Alright, so welcome back to War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. So, just wanted to finish up this uh, uh, content patch that they added here, which added the last scene of Chapter 5. But before I do that, I almost forgot, I have two little summon tickets uh, for the event. Um, looks like our drop rates are still incredibly low, 0.8% on those two guys, which would put us at... A 2% chance of getting an Ultra Rare, so not really expecting much of anything, but we'll use both our tickets here. And it's a brown book, which means nada. Alrighty. Well, that's that. So, not all that exciting. We must have quite a few of these... I don't think I've ever opened it this way. Hmm. Odd. I just wanted to see how many of these uh, tickets or of these tokens we had, but... Oh well. So let's go to the story. And again, I don't have a lot of energy. But the thing is, is I'm so close to ranking up, I'm thinking that after we do this mission, we'll rank up and we'll have a full bar of energy anyway. So, let's jump in here, Lies and Falsehoods number two. And let's try bringing somebody different, I don't know. We can maybe bring a Yishtola, although Yishtolas, they scare me, Yishtolas. Let's see if we have anybody good here and... We could try bringing one of... I don't even know what her name is, but we'll try bringing her. We'll see how this goes. So if I recall correctly, Stern is not very happy right now. He helped us fight, and now he's probably going to turn against us. Because he found out his mother was killed along with, uh... Oh, his master. So, we'll see. Okay, that foul, not good, Yustola. Like, this is one of the reasons I kind of want to get rid of her, too. She just attacks our enemies with foul, or our, our allies with foul, way too often. And I've got almost Stern is almost ready for prime time, but uh, Moshiri is nowhere near it. I have to farm a ton of job materials, and eh. And I just don't want to use our rainbow spheres on her just yet, because I'm saving them to max awaken both Medina and Eileen, because they're both pretty close. I just need a couple more of the elemental mats, but they're both really, really close to being fully awakened, but it uses 10 rainbow spheres, so I need 20 of them, which I think I have like 15 right now. This is, uh, a lot of the, some of the maps have a lot of elevation in them, which make them take a lot longer than they need to, <laughs> but that's alright. So there we go, we ranked up, which gives us another friend, full energy, which is nice. Alright, let's see if we get anything happening here. Nope. Alright, so... Don't want to bring another Yishtola, because again, we don't like Yishtola. Let's see if we have anybody, some uh, good Orlandos here. Oh, we have to pay for the good ones, which we do not want to do, but we will take this level 99 friend. Out 
outnumbered and overwhelmed. I'm sorry, brother. I got a bit carried away. So this is how Nitor tastes its first defeat. Losing is a cruel thing. King Rob! King Rob! And Engelbert! My apologies for the delay, Adelard. Adelard, you've held out well. I would go ahead and take back that part about our first defeat, brother. Oh, what's this now? King Rob of Horn in the flesh? Killing him would have us set for life, huh? So Solidus and Nitor are both out here in the lineup, are they? Huh. You believe yourself a match for our armies? Do not underestimate them. There is a reason why Solidus is so named. Go ahead. Strike at them with all your might. Hmm. Well, it looks like King Rob is getting involved in it now. Huh. We'll see how this plays out. I do like that Ryu was the very first unit killed. <laughs> we don't like him very much. I wonder what new units are going to be added to the game next, like ones from War of the Visions. Does it look like the previous ones we got, the last three, like Etter and Nasha, and I can't remember what the other girl's name was. They seemed like they were unique, like they weren't actually part of the storyline, but we have a lot of characters that we've seen that are not recruitable yet or summonable. So curious. Oh no, they're actually they might even kill my Medina. I really hope not. Alright, we got it. Nice. That was close though. Medina took a lot of damage there. Alright, who will succeed? Let's see here. Again, still the same requirements. We'll take our Gilgamesh buddy. Shitzelt, are you all right? He's a monster. Stern is no ordinary man. I agree. Lord Mont, do you truly plan to fight Lord Stern? I cannot run away. Not from this. Our soldiers are confused. I know. Besides, it would be easy to predict the outcome if you fought here outright. You think retreat is possible under these circumstances? We are without an escape route. But, King Alda... Moreover, 
This fight will decide the successor to the Leonis throne. King Elda. Despite all that, you would turn tail and run, Lilith? In that case, I will fight. I would gladly give my life for Leonis. I do not fear death. My resolution is firm. For what comes next depends on Mont. Mm. Lilith. I live so that Lord Mont may become king of Leonis. Ramada, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but would you join me? <laughs> so I shall. Witnessing the fall of the kingdom of Leonis firsthand will be the height of glory. Stern, my son. I can feel it. How the armor amplifies your hatred, augmenting your raw power. That gaudy thing holds such power! Come. Strike them down. Run them through in the name of a new era. I really don't like Sodley. Uh, and he keeps calling him his son, but I wonder if it's just because he's kind of taking him in, if he really is his son. Because going by hair color, seems like Mont and Helena and Elda are all blonde, so... Wait, we're not the bad guys, are we? Because it looks like we're fighting Lilith. We are the bad guys. No! I hate it when we fight that way. Yep, there's Schutzelt. Yeah, we're, we're basically, we're using Stern's... We're fighting on Stern's side right now. Yeah, there's Ramada. Which means that we are going to lose this battle. Well... The good guys are going to lose. Well, I don't even know if they're... Well, yeah, Ksadali is definitely bad, but I don't know if Leonis is essential... Well, is necessarily good. That remains to be seen, I guess. At least that was a nice quick uh, victory though, and you know, that was a victory I didn't want to win. Alright, rampaging, rampaging young lion. Okay. We'll see if our Gilgabesh muddy is available. No, he's not. No. Okay. Um. All right, we'll take a Thanker then. Oh, but his Thanker is actually not that great. Hmm. Gilgamesh is like one of the I think is probably one of the strongest units in the game right now. It feels that way anyway. Oh, Stern is mighty to behold. Keep fighting, Stern. Cut them down. You do not command me. What? You bastards are next. Stop. Oh, Stern's kind of going on a rampage now. Uncontrollable hate, it seems like. I really hope he didn't kill, like, Lilith and Ramada. Because I kind of like them. Kind of. Well, 
Bringing the two Medinas is kind of working. We've already killed, like, four units, so... Five units now, but the Medinas killed four on their own. That was a pretty quick fight. I'm curious what's going to happen in the chapter finale here. Brother is really gonna fight? This doesn't seem like it's a good idea. And it doesn't really seem like it's what Stern wants. Seems like he actually really cared about his brother, but anyways, what do we have to do here? Make a chain of two or more, use items no more than three times, do not hire a companion, no KO'd units. doesn't really drop anything I really want, per se, anyway. So we're going to take one anyway. We can always come back and finish clearing it, but I'm going to take Gilgamesh. Just a minute! Huh? What's with these guys? Solidus sure is something. The tables have turned. What has become of your gloating countenance? <clears throat> but alas, it is not over yet. You lot should be condemned to eternal damnation for aiding the likes of Fenis. Hey! This isn't funny anymore. There's no way we're gonna die here, huh? What faint-hearted words are those? Now is our chance to destroy Horn! Damn it. You buffoons are completely useless without Sodaly. What are you saying? We'll be taking our leave now, if you don't mind. Don't think too poorly of us, huh? Huh? Wait! Where are you going? Hmm. This is what one gets for trying to buy loyalty with Gil. Soldiers! Obliterate these dirty sanctum dogs! Huh, okay, so I guess we don't get to see the showdown with Mont and Stern. I guess we're doing the other stuff here. With Solidus and Nitor regiments, I think? Oh, this is the map we've been kind of, uh, the arena is currently on this kind of map. Hmm. Oh no, leave my Yushtola alone! Oh no, she might actually die. <laughs> yep, she died. No! <sighs> so much for no KO'd units.
This is a quick, easy map, though, it feels like. Alright, so we killed the gun guy. He was kind of annoying. I do kind of wonder how Eileen is part of this, like, storyline. Which character, or where she's from. Curious. Do we get a scene after this, or is it just going to kind of end with not any sort of cliffhanger? I'm curious, because this is the end of the chapter. Oh, here we go. Lunt, you can't escape your destiny! No, but I can change it. I know I can. This is quite a sight to behold. <laughs> we'll rid ourselves of Leonis at long last. I will not allow it. Gilgamesh. And so he appears. Such a decisive contest here and now would make mockery of my plans. That is no concern of mine. Have you forgotten? You all live or die at my whim. <sighs> you will withdraw until the time is right. Then, I shall not intervene. You will have free reign to kill each other all you like. Hmm, okay. So Gilgamesh saved the day, but... And that was kind of neat. We got to see a pretty cool cutscene there. There's not very many of them. I think we saw one with Moraga once, and then that's, I think, maybe the second one we've seen. So it's actually pretty cool. I don't know. I, I like that quite a bit. Um... But who knows when we'll get more content now. I mean, we do have the tactics event going on right now. So if we look at, like, the events. Um, I've done pretty much all of it. Even, like, the hard one here, too. That's all complete. Uh, it's relatively simple. I do have to do it a little more, but to get some more materials and stuff. But, um, as always, thanks for watching, and until there's more content.